hello there welcome to my youtube channel and today i'm very excited for this new video so by the end of this video you'll be able to actually make clouds in blender in less than 10 minutes well that is if you're fast you're as fast as i am so let's jump right in hello there welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm very excited for this video today i want to show you how you can create clouds in blender it actually became super easy on how to do it let's not waste much time and let's just delete this cube shift a and create an ecosphere let's just zoom in with your mouse wheel and let's go under edit mode grab this shift d Make sure they are selected and duplicate so you can make any shape of a cloud that you want just have a lot just have fun with this okay let me just move this side and all right oops one last one just here okay and let's go back to object mode. This looks good. So I can actually shed smooth this. We can select it and shed smooth. All right. So now what I want us to bring in is shift A, add, we're going to add a volume, an empty in here. And uh, this empty, we want to add modifiers to it. So we want to firstly add the mesh to volume modifier. And then here under object, you can either click on the object or you can select the object. So in this case, we'll, we'll select this ecosphere. And you can already see that you have this uh, shape out here. So you can increase the voxel amount to 64, which removes, uh, reduces this jaggedness around. And we also want to add the volume displacement. And once we have this, just create new. So we create a new texture to it and just go under texture properties, change the image or movie to clouds. So we already created some, some presets for this. And basically at this level, we have clouds. So let's just go on into the, the shading, the shader mode and notice you can't actually see a lot happening. So first thing I want to do is change the render engine from EV to cycle. So cycles and the other thing is we have uh, this ecosphere which are these blocks in here. So what I want to do is select them and push M then we'll create a new collection. I'll call this blocks and say OK. And I want to turn this off. So notice we already have a cloud uh, structure here. The other thing is our volume does not actually have uh, material. So we actually come under material here. My machine has become slow now. So let me just go back here. So under materials, just create a new material. And under volume, just change this to a white surface. And yeah, basically we are there. So another thing, one other thing is just turn the density from 1 to 10 on the modifier here. So notice we actually have something that looks like this. And let's add an HDRI behind. So you can already see we have something like this. So we want to increase the brightness because it looks like it's raining now. It's, it's a raining uh, cloud. It's a dark cloud. So let's go under shading. So under shading here, I want to change from just go under world and search for an environment texture and add this, plug it into here and just look for an HDRI image. Any will do because we'll probably turn it off. So just look for any HDRI and select it. So let me select, um, this looks good, this looks good. So just open any. 
so notice it's going to light it up i'm not seeing the results because i was in the uh div what do you call it the div something something all right so another thing i want to do is the light i want to change this light to sun so notice it actually makes it even more brighter so depending on where i'm going to put my camera angle i can actually change the angle of this so already it's burning the cloud so let's just change the amount of the sun to something small something say 60. let's try that right and now say at this point you want to have more clouds than what we actually have so what we're going to do is um select the volume itself and hold down control then the ecosphere and now what we'll do is shift d duplicate and you can make as many as you want let me just turn this thing down g to move so you can make as many as you want i think this is enough for me this is good enough and now just position your uh your view to wherever you want say this looks good and now i'll just hold down control alt net and zero on the keyboard and i'll set my camera to that angle so i can set select the camera and push g then just move it to however i want if i want to zoom it out you can hold push g on the keyboard and then push alternate and click your right mouse button your left mouse button so keep in mind i'm using the 3d emulator button which if you don't know you can come here under properties and just come here on um what is this interface is it no my bad input so emulator 3d button mouse you can actually use this i'm not very comfortable using the the mouse wheel so you can always use that and yeah so basically the fact that we've moved all these ecospheres into one collection meaning the block you can just untick then you don't see the ecospheres again and you have this and also here under render properties under film just open under film and just tick the transparent so we want a transparent background you can split your screen in case you feel your lighting is not as good so push seven on the keyboard to go to the top view or you can use all sorts of methods so we can light them up from the front like this all right so if you feel the lighting is a bit too much it's still blowing the 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 whole scene just reduce this to something like 40 and that looks amazing so in my case i want to render this as uh as a transparent thing so meaning i'll add something a background in uh, at the back after i'm done with everything then another thing is here just come under what, what what was this view layer properties and check the denoiser and under composition on top here just enable use of nodes and let's select this just move it aside select the denoising plug it in so make sure the noisy image goes to the image uh, denoising normal to the normal and the albedo to the albedo then we go back and now we can actually save our uh, our creation cloud. Oops. And just save that. So now we can just push render, and we are done. And thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.